there. It's me, Mrs. Spalding again. I hope you all are doing well and that you've had an awesome day. So what did you do today? You're surviving well during this pandemic. You're looking good, feeling good. Did you go outside? Okay, some of you rode your bikes and it was a little colder today. Did you wear a jacket? Did you remember a jacket? Okay, I went for a walk today and I had to wear a jacket and I was afraid it was going to rain, but it didn't rain. Yay! And I wanted to read my story outside, but it's a little windy. So I decided to stay inside in my office where it's nice and warm, not too toasty, but warm. So I hope that you guys are doing well. Did you have a school today? on the computer. Do you see any of your friends on Zoom? How many of you have been uh, talking to your family? Okay, so some of you said that you've been talking to your grandma and your pops. That's so awesome. I know they love seeing you and hearing from you. Well, without much further ado, I want to start reading the story for today. It is called, let me get my glasses on. Y'all know I can't see, right? I see you better. Yay. Yay me. Okay. So today I'm going to read a book by the name of Stevie. It's entitled Stevie and it's written and illustrated by John Steptoe. So he wrote the book and he drew the pictures too. Isn't that exciting? Well, it's exciting for me because, you know, I'm an author as well and I cannot draw that well. So I'm so excited for those that can. Okay, so I'm going to start reading. One day, my mama told me, you know, you're going to have a little friend come stay with you. And I said, who was that? Who is it? And she said, you know, my friend, Mrs. Mack. Well, she has to work all week and I'm going to keep her little boy. I asked, for how long? She said, he'll stay all week and his mother will come pick him up on Saturdays. So there's Stevie talking to his mama. The next day, the doorbell rang. It was a lady and a kid. He was smaller than me. I ran to my mother. Is that them? They went in the kitchen, but I stayed out in the hall to listen. The little boy's name was Stephen, but his mother kept calling him Stevie. My name is Robert, but my mama don't call me Roberty. <laughs> What's a nickname usually for Robert? It's usually Rob or Robbie, but Ro Robert T. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, sorry. And so Steve moved in with his old crybaby self. He always had to have his way. And he was greedy too. Everything he sees, he wants. Could I have some of that? Give me this, man. Since he was littler than me, while I went to school, he used to stay home and play with my toys. I wish my mother would bring some of his toy. His mother would bring some of his toys over here to break up. I used to get so mad at my mother when I came home from school. Mama, can't you watch him and tell him to leave my stuff alone? Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever had like um little uh, nieces and nephews or cousins come to your house that your mom was keeping? And did they get into your things? I know that's aggravating. M my Malia is an only child and she does not like that. So I can kind of understand how Robert feels. Let's keep reading. Then 
He used to like to get up on my bed and to look out the window and leave his dirty footprints all over my bed. And my mama never said nothing to him. And on Saturdays, when his mother comes to pick him up, he always acts, tries to act cute, like just because his mother is there. He picked up my airplane and told him, and, and I told him not to bother it. He thought I wouldn't say nothing to him in front of his mother. I could never go anywhere without my mother saying, take Stevie with you now. But why I got to take him everywhere I go, I'd say. Now, if you were staying with someone, you wouldn't want them to treat you mean, my mother told me. Why don't you and Stevie try to play nice? Yeah, but I've always been nice to him with his old spoiled self. He's always got to have his way anyway. I had to take him out to play with me and my friends. Is that your brother, Bobby? They'd ask me. No. Is that your cousin? No. He's just my friend and he's staying at my house and my mother made me bring him. Ha <laughs> ha. You got a babysit, Bobby, the babysitter. Uh, be quiet. Come on, Steve. See, why you got to make all my friends laugh for? Ha <laughs> ha. Baby, the Bobby, the babysitter, my friend said. Hey, come on, y'all. Let's go play in the park. You coming, Bobby? One of my friends said. And there's Stevie looking out the window. Nah, my mama said he can't go to the park because... The last time he went, he fell and hurt his knee with his old stupid self. And then they left. You see? You see? I can't even play with my friends. Man, come on. I'm sorry, Robert. You don't like me, Robert. I'm sorry, Stevie said. Oh, I feel sorry for him. Uh, be quiet. That's okay, I told him. One time when my daddy was having company, I was just sitting behind the couch, just listening to them talk and make jokes and drink beer. And I wasn't making no noise. They didn't even know I was there. And here's a picture of them in the park and the big, the boys making fun of poor Robert and saying he's the babysitter. See? Then here comes Stevie with his old loud self. Then when my father heard him, he yelled at me and told me to go upstairs. Just cause of Stevie. Sometimes people get on your nerves and they don't mean it or nothing, but they just bother you. Well, I got to put up with him. My mama only had one kid. I used to have a lot of fun before old stupid came to live with us. One Saturday, Stevie's mother and father came to my house to pick him up like always, but they said that they were going to move away and that Stevie wasn't going to come back anymore. So then he left. The next morning, I got up to watch cartoons and I fixed two bowls of cornflakes. Then I just remembered that Stevie wasn't here. Sometimes we had a lot of fun running in and out of the house. Well, I guess my bed will stay clean from now on, but that wasn't so bad. I couldn't help it because he was stupid. I remember the time I ate the last piece of cake in the corn bread box and blamed it on him. We used to play cowboys and Indians on the stoop. And there they are playing. So what do you think? He couldn't stand Stevie. And now how does he feel about Stevie? He misses him, doesn't he? You never miss someone until they're gone. So now that he's gone, he's like, oh, Stevie was great. <laughs> Let's keep reading. I remember when I was doing my homework, I used to try to teach him what I had learned. He could write his name pretty good for his age. I remember the time we played boogeyman and we hid under the covers with daddy's flashlight. And that time we was playing in the park under the bushes and we found those two dead rats and one was brown and one was black. Yeah. 
I don't like rats. And him and me and my friends used to cook Mickey's or marshmallows in the park. We used to have some good times together. I think he liked my mama better than his own because he used to call his mother, mother, and he called my mama, mommy. Oh, no. I let my cornflakes get soggy thinking about him. He was a nice little guy. He was kind of like a little brother, little Stevie. And that's the end. So, what did you think of Stevie? I tell you, so what did you like about the story? I liked the fact that Robert learned that you don't really miss someone until they're gone because he really didn't even like Stevie, did he? But then once, once Stevie was gone, he really missed him. So I hope that if you have a little brother or sister or cousin or a step cousin or whoever, a little friend that visits your house, if your mom has to help babysit for someone because of COVID-19, that you'll be nice to them. I'm going to actually babysit for my friend's daughter. So it might be different for my child. She's a big kid. She can take care of herself. But if you have a little person over your house because of COVID-19, the quarantine or whatever reason, you know, be nice. You never know. You might make a new friend. Be nice and patient. But you never know. You will miss them when they're not there. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed Stevie, and I will see you tomorrow at 7. Bye-bye.